Hi, and welcome back. So a new study out of Spain looking into a well-loved longevity diet that reaps wonderful benefits for the majority of people has found that a specific demographic does not get the same results from this diet. Enough waffling of me, let's jump into the presentation and let's see what this new study has got to offer. This is a review of a study I read that was penned by the Network of Valencian Universities for the promotion of R&D, known as RUVID. It's a non-profit organization made up of seven public and private universities in the Valencian region of Spain. The study concluded there's a specific group of people who do not benefit from a well-established longevity diet. But luckily for this group of individuals, there is a solution. And there are links in the description below to the study and the articles I used to put this presentation together. The Mediterranean diet does not only have beneficial effects for the cardiovascular health of those who follow it, but it also allows them to improve their memory and prevent or delay the effects of cognitive deterioration connected aging. However, these beneficial effects are not enjoyed equally by everyone, which leads to questioning the type of interventions based on dietary recommendations and how to adapt them to the individual features of each person. These are the main results of a study published in Clinical Nutrition, led by researchers from the Research Group in Integrated Pharmacology and Systems Neuroscience, and from the Research Group in Cardiovascular Risk and Nutrition of the Instituto Hospital Delamere for Medical Research. Let's take a look at the cohort. The study followed a group of 487 volunteers for three years, roughly half of which were men, the other half women, with an average age of 65 years. It was a multi-center study that 23 Spanish research centers take part in and which analyzes the effect of the traditional Mediterranean diet with energetic restrictions, promoting physical activity and behavioral intervention on weight loss and the prevention of cardiovascular disease. At the beginning of the study, the participants had a BMI score that categorized them as either overweight or obese and met at least three of the criteria required to be diagnosed with metabolic syndrome. Metabolic syndrome is very common, being present in close to one in four adults globally. It increases the risk of heart disease, cerebrovascular accidents, type 2 diabetes and cognitive deterioration. Conditions include hypertension, high blood pressure, hyperglycemia, high blood glucose levels and excess fat around the waist, low levels of HDL cholesterol and high levels of triglycerides. A cerebrovascular accident or CVA is the medical term for a stroke. CVAs are caused by blood clots and broken blood vessels in the brain. Symptoms include dizziness, numbness, weakness on one side of the body and problems with talking, writing or understanding language. The researchers analysed the cognitive status of the volunteers at the beginning of the study and at the one and the three year point. The researchers established their performance regarding memory and other cognitive functions, including the ability to make decisions, to reason, to pay attention, to plan, or to ignore certain impulses. According to previous studies, within the period of three years, people with metabolic syndrome who do not follow any type of intervention would have normally seen their global cognition score decrease by almost 0.4 points and their memory drop by 0.1. However, with the study's recommendations, they recorded improvements of over 0.6 points in global cognition and close to 0.9 in memory. For these patients, the results showed a direct link between their adherence to the Mediterranean diet and their cognitive improvement. Adherence to a low calorie Mediterranean diet was measured with a poll of 17 items that explore the consumption of, but are not exclusive to, extra virgin olive oil and the quantity of fruit and vegetables eaten each day. Scores over 11 points equate to high adherence to the Mediterranean diet. For each point of improvement, Regarding the adherence to this type of diet, the memory improved by 0.12 points. According to the research, this improvement could have been due to the weight loss and an increase of physical activity, which is also linked to an improved quality of life. 
Rafael de Toro, PhD, of the Hospital del Mar Medical Research Institute's Neurosciences Research Program said, this is important, taking into account that people may not notice cognitive changes, but they can be more relevant when combined with improvements to their quality of life. Dr. Fernando Fernandez Aranda of the University of Barcelona and the leader of the project said, thanks to this study, we have established benefits of the Mediterranean diet beyond weight loss, such as verbal memory and attention. But not everyone gets the same benefits. This is according to Natalia Soldevilla Dominic, first signee of the study, who said, women, the oldest people, those with a low level of education and those with type 2 diabetes obtain the least benefits from following the Mediterranean diet. Despite seeing that women have less cognitive improvement than men, these improvements occurred in all participants. Everyone benefits from following the Mediterranean diet, just some more than others. Volunteers with the lowest cognitive performance at the beginning of the study regarding memory and other cognitive functions also adhered to or followed the Mediterranean diet the least and unsurprisingly they were the ones who achieved insignificant weight loss. We wanted to know which volunteers lost weight and which did not and why some did and some did not from the point of view of cognition and their behaviour said Rafael de Toro. So who did best? Specifically, those who at the beginning of the study had the best auditory memory, higher planning and decision making abilities, quicker reaction times and less impulsiveness were between 20% and 50% more likely to achieve the study goal of losing 8% of their weight over the three years. According to the research, this is because most people with these cognitive abilities had high adherence to the low calorie Mediterranean diet, which led to clinically relevant weight loss. For these reasons, the authors say the results obtained will now make it possible to identify the individuals that will have the greatest difficulty sticking to the diet. This will allow for customization measures to be implemented and hopefully make it easier for this group to adopt the healthy life guidelines, which in turn will also help prevent cognitive deterioration. For those who are a little unsure of what the Mediterranean diet actually consists of, bear in mind some vegans will tell you that no meat is allowed because it's a vegan diet. This statement is false. This is from Healthline.com. They tell you to eat vegetables, fruits, nuts, seeds, legumes, potatoes, whole grains, herbs, spices, fish, seafood and extra virgin olive oil. They tell you to eat in moderation poultry, eggs, cheese and yogurt and to rarely eat red meat, sugar and sweetened beverages, added sugars, processed meat, refined grains, refined oils and other highly processed foods. They don't define moderation or rarely, but for moderation maybe two or three times a week and for rarely maybe once or twice a month. Let me know what you think of that. In my humble opinion, I would completely remove highly refined oils such as canola oil, sunflower oil, vegetable oil, etc. and definitely remove highly processed foods from the list all together. Well, I hope you found that interesting or informative, hopefully both. So it looks at the group of people who have poor memory or cognitive functions, including the ability to make decisions, pay attention, plan or ignore certain impulses are the group of people that are going to need the most help. This is good because it allows doctors and dietitians to single these people out and then make a more specific bespoke plan to make sure that they succeed at the Mediterranean diet, lose weight, but also get improved cognitive function. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this particular study. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. As always, please take care, stay safe, and I will see you soon. Bye for now.